from this turtle position, it can be really hard sometimes to like do much with this guy, right? It's sort of like, what do we do from here? Especially if he starts to try to like posture up, whatever. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to hug his waist. In wrestling, it's called a tight waist. So my outside hand is gonna come underneath and I'm gonna establish this gable grip. My knee's gonna go kind of up here by his butt and I've got good control of his waist. Now to take his back from this position, I'm gonna think about just running away from him. So tight waist, I start to run. Now I can go to my seatbelt. I can get my hooks in and I can keep him controlled here. I can do this with three of you guys on scene, right? I have good control of him now. So if you came in and started to grab hands to get him rolled over, right? This is a very good control position. Notice the seatbelt. I gooseneck my hand. I come up right underneath his chin and I, with my other hand, I go up right on top of it. And now my head can be in nice and tight. You can also start to control hands from this position, right? If it's a deadly force situation or whatever, I have the choke available to me from this position. So it has more applications aside from just him being on his hands and knees. This back control with the seatbelt can be a great thing, a great tool, especially if you're fighting with somebody by yourself and you're waiting for your partners to get there. If I have Kyle's back, he's not getting away and he's not going to hurt me until my partners get there and we'll take care of business. So we're here, hand comes through, tight waist, start to run to the other side, here. Seat belt right away, hook one, I can pull him toward me, to, which allows me to slide this other hook out. Now I have both hooks in, and I've got my seat belt position. Kyle can do whatever he wants from here, right? Go ahead. Yeah, he might slap me in the, the top of the head. It's not gonna hurt. But again, you can start to kind of, you can cover yourself here. He just, there's not a lot of stuff that he can do. So one more time, I'll do it from this side so our internet friends can see. And outside hand through, get a grip, tight waist, start to run. Here, get my seatbelt, hook one. Let's talk real quick about that. So. Um, Let's say we do have four partners on scene, right? It's us four against Kyle. But if we're all in here pulling different directions, we're not gonna get them under control, right? Like if, if I'm pulling this arm this way, you're pulling that arm this way, uh, one of you guys is trying to take his back, you see where this is going, right? And that's usually what happens. So if he's trying to get up, if I can establish this tight waist and run, and take the back, well now, what can we do from here? Communicate, right? He's not going anywhere. I have full control of Kyle. So one of you guys could come in, grab this near side arm and control it, right? Don't let us arrest you, Kyle, okay? Fuck you guys. Do you wanna roll over onto your stomach? No, yes. Roll over on your stomach, okay. right? You guys can control the legs. I'll keep the back. Oh, we'll work this out. You guys are dicks. And he's, he's under control. How much effort did that take, right? Versus taser, OC, fucking baton, I don't know, you name it. Kicks, punches to the face, like, those things have their place too, I know. But again, if one person can take the vac to control him, now we can work together as a team to start to get, get him in, on his, uh, in prone position to get him in cuffs.